Hi guys, Anthony from Radio Bush. How are you guys going? This is a Unity help video so you can see, like you know we're making a golf game and I thought, hey, how about I kind of give some people some pointers on how to make that golf ball bounce and that golf ball swing and all those kind of things that make a golf ball fly through the air nice and nicely and things that I've worked out over the period of making this game. And so that's what this video is about. So if you want to get a nice bounce to your ball like it does in a real golf thing, you know how it goes like bounce, slow, and then only a little bounce and then it kind of stops. This is for you. Also, we're going to do some wind. So you can see the wind coming through and it, it'll affect the ball and, and different things like that. So it's, it's only a quick video, but it's going to be pretty helpful, I hope. And let's get started. Oh, subscribe first if you... If you're new to the channel, hey, that'll help me heaps. Okay, let's go and do it. Okay, so this is like your normal golf shop, and you can see what we're trying to do here is you get that one bounce, and then it kind of really slows down, so it doesn't do like a whole lot of big bounces. So to do that, I, I had a ball, and with the ball, I've added a sphere collider which I had a bouncy material on, and it's got a fair bit of bounce on it. So that way you get that first initial bounce. And then what I did is I, I've got the rigid body with the mass and the drag set to those kind of numbers, um, 30 and that. And then I have a ball script and another sphere to collide out, but that one's got a trigger. So we'll, that'll explain itself later when we get to the wind part of this video. But we're first looking at when the ball hits the ground, what happens is I have made it so, so you saw those mass is in the rigid, bo rigid body and the drag. I've increased them. So once they hit the ground, they actually get bigger, which makes everything stop. So you still get that bounce, but then it'll slow down again. So I've just got it. So if the ball's been shot, uh, once the ball's been shot in the air, so that way it's not sitting on the pad and um, adds the mass. It hits the mass once it bounces once. And that's why it will do add the rigid body dot mass and the rigid body dot drag to that. And that that's, will replace, replace those numbers. And that's where you get that nice little bounce from. So that was my first thing that I, I worked out. Now... The next thing I've got here is like I didn't want it so my ball landed exactly in the same spot as each time. So every down the bottom you can see that little indicator going side to side and it tells it if it's on the left or if it's on the right. And see this one here I hit it and it's pretty close. I was aiming for the edge of this sand pit and I kind of got it spot on. But then if I aim for the exact same spot and I wait till the indicator is right down the bottom it will hit it off to the, a little bit off to the side of that. Um, so you can see it coming here and it's just a little bit further across. So it's not a whole lot of difference, but it's just enough for um, to make it a bit of a difference. So you don't have all the balls on in exactly the same spot. It's kind of got a little bit of variance. And to do that, all I did was see how I've got the swing left or the swing right. So if it's on the swing L and that equals true, then the game body dot get component rigid body add force and I've got a transform right that will add the speed to go a little bit left or a little bit right. Okay, so next on the wind. What I've done here, I've got a, a wind box, and you can see this big box here that I've put in here, and that's got a collider on it, plus it's got a particle system that's just in front of it, so because it takes a second for it to make the wind work. Um, and then I've got this wind script that has basically the wind power, the wind direction, the particle, and what it does is when the ball goes into the wind system, it'll add a force to it to make it change the direction of that. So all I've done here, you hit the wind and it, you'll see it, the ball go over that way. And it's about the same, it will, you can see 
it will happen again when the, it hits the wind. And this is much the same as the, the little variance in the actual uh, landing position of the ball. It's uh, changing the rigid body by adding a force to it again once it comes in collision with the actual wind collider. So, like, that's where the spear on trigger enter. It gets the, that's what's looking out for the trigger of the wind. We'll pick up its tag and that's what will happen. And then once it hits the on trigger enter the wind area, all it will do is add the rigid body dot wind information um, and add that force that it gets out of the information from the wind script. Okay, so the, there's not much to it. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Um, that was it for this week. I will do some more videos as time goes. Like, subscribe, all those things. Add a comment if you want some more information. Come see me on Twitter. Or do all those kind of things. It, it's heaps of fun. And I will see you again next week. Bye.